hi and welcome to python system of a stock management system let me show you guys how this works first of all i'm going to click on reset there okay. and we just need to select whatever item that we would like to hire or buy for the day and there so it's between 1 and 30 days so all we just need to do is click on any of these that we agree on and just click on total there we go there. we can reset and exit if we want I'm now going to exit I'm just going to select another item entirely maximum day days is 270 and that's what you are being built for so just click on method of payment and click on total there so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Python development environment and we'll put one of these together and welcome back to Python development environment I'm going to start by importing as follows import ticketer and import as follows the next thing I'm going to do is let me create my class and then I'm going to call that stock management systems I would then define my methods and just enter initialize and that is going to be the okay, self comma root and the next thing is I'm going to now say self dot root equals root and add as follows so now I have the title the German tree and the background color all set so for now I'm just going to run up the form and save the program let's go to file save as I'm just going to call that so it's going to be pi underscore stock management system so let's click on save there we go okay now that is save oh there's something missing here there we go so let's try it out and see how it's going to look like it's just going to be a frame that's it done all right we're on the right path so the next thing i'd like to do now is let me create my I'm going to create my frame so that's the name I'm going to call my frame and that is the widget itself it's going to be inside self dot root copy that there that's my widget created and let me just add a border I'm going to make that border approximately 20 comma and the other thing is let's go for the width the width is going to be 1000 uh, 1350 and let's make the height we'll make that about maybe 700 and let's say my background just gonna change the background let's make that black there we go and I've also get it parted so the next thing now is I'm, not, I'm just going to say main frame dot grid there that's it done so I'm going to run that you, you guys won't see it but you should be able to see a line around it so let's see that should be 700 okay so let's run it again and see that there we go there's an error somewhere let's check out the error no it should be in lower case it should all be in lower case okay then now let's run that again there we go you can see the the border around it so now that the framework is done I'm just gonna copy this same framework and now we use it for another frame I've called this very frame we get we get frame 
so that's the name of it equals that get rid of that so this widget frame is going to be right inside main frame there now I'm going to carry out some maintenance on it the border in this case is going to be 10 the width is going to be let's make that 750 okay the height 600 or oh, maybe we should go for 800 for this I can always readjust that the color I'm gonna go, go for games borrow yeah that's the spelling okay right padding I'm gonna make that about two and left padding no X padding I mean horizontal padding that will be 10 and I'll get it raised as well okay now widget frame come right here I'm going to get it parked let's get it parked that's easier Pad upside uh, maybe left or right whatever equals I only need one of those there we go okay let's run it and see how that's gonna look like there we go all right close that now the next thing I'd like to do now is to define my all the frames that will be inside is very frame wicked I'll call it zero one no zero the first one will be called zero so let's come down here and say we get frame zero equals all of the above and enter zero here and this is going to be called widget there okay a few changes we include the height let's go for 712 and this will be about 5 okay let's see because I'm dividing it so I'm going to make this 143 yeah okay pardon make this about five okay let's get rid of this for now we can always add it if we want there, that's the very first one so if I run it now this is how it's gonna look like there we go now let, let's add some more I'm just gonna copy this let's see first thing let's change this since I'm going to have more so I'm going to say grade equals rule rule in this case equals zero and column equals zero now the other ones will be column equals one right let's get this corrected and this one will be column one This one will be two, and this will be two, two, this will be three, and this will be three. Okay, so let's run it and see how it's going to look like. All right, it's on the side. Let's see. It's not. It's no. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be roll. Roll is one here. Two. And three. This remains zero, zero, zero. Okay, save and run. There we go, that's fine. Now, the next thing is, I will then declare the variables that I intend to use. So, let's say the first one is going to be product code equals string variable. And the other one, let's say prototype. It's also string variable. Uh, 
and so on there those are all the variables that I intend to use all declared so let me just add a line here so that you guys know what what is there so this very first one is going to be my these are variables and up here those are frames the frame starts from here there we go there the main frame and the subframe let's say we have a sub frames here right okay now that all of the variables are in place I will now add some widget save that control s and right here I've just commented out the areas I intend to enter a widget and the very first widget is going to be as follows this will be the very first widget I intend to use so this widget comprises of the label and the combo box inside the combo box I have a car van mini a mini bus and a truck so if I run it this is what you guys will see there we go okay I'm now going to add more widgets which have, we have to speed up as well there we go let's come down here so let's take it from here so number of days and the combo box I intend to use for the number of days so that's the label and here is the combo box and I have a label here text widget label another text widget and I've also included all of the variables that I intend to use so if I run that now this is what you guys will see and there we go okay so I have prototype the prototype and number of days okay all right so let's populate the next frame underneath so I'm gonna close that and I will now come here so the first one is widget frame 0 so the next one is going to be widget frame 1 and here for the next frame here are the lines of code for for a label actually and a combo box and we have a label and another combo box so if I run this now this is what you guys will see there we go so have a good look at it so that's going to be for my credit limit and here credit check okay select an item if it's yes or if it's no okay so I will now speed that up so have a good look at the lines of code because I'm going to speed that up now there we go those are the lines of code for the second frame so let's take it from the top here well first thing first let me run it then you see how it looks like there we go look at that all right so i'm just gonna speed that up and show you guys oh let me just show it to you anyway here are the lines of code take it from here and the second frame okay i'm gonna take it up there we go those are the lines of code it's just labels combo box labels combo box and so on and here I have a text field or text entry now take it down you can always pause your video and type it all out okay now let's run it there now let's take care of the third frame 
the case of the third frame I'm going to have to divide that frame into two and right in here underneath the comment I will divide the frame into two that is the frame for the third one so I've now divided the frame into two one is going to be widget frame two left and widget frame two right so if I run the program this is what you will see there we go look at that left and right now let's populate left close this and we will populate left right in here and right here guys those are the checkbox created for the second left frame or you can call it the third so if I run it this is what you will see there we go so when we check it now we need to be able to enter the data straight into text area or oh, text actually not text area okay I'm not using Java so if I run this now this is what we get there and in here I need to enter my tag subtotal and total and the text entering here so let's close that have a good look at those lines of codes I will go to the next one which is the second frame right take it up okay right in here now we we'll enter as follows there those are the lines of code labels and text entering okay so let's run it and right there tax subtotal and total and right underneath I intend to create the buttons so let's come right down here the buttons will be right underneath here let's just close up the where the button will be there buttons it is sorted there okay Let's just call it end of buttons right so we now enter our buttons there so this one will be button widget of widget three buttons okay and right here those are the lines of codes for the buttons Okay, so I'm now going to run this program so that you guys can see how it all looks like. So let's run it now. Let's see, there we go. However, there's nothing happening here. Nothing is happening at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to take care of the buttons right here. So the first thing, let's take care of the exit button. Okay, I'm just going to close that and let's go right up here so let's say right underneath the variables I will declare a, um, a function and that function is going to be known as I exit now I exit equals let's say Second turn dot message box dot so I'm going to use ask yes or no ask 
yes or no this very one and um, what will be the title so I'm just gonna call that because you have to enter title force here stock management system and comma now then enter confirm you want to exit confirm if you want to exit and close that there now let's come down here and use if statement if I exit the equals no let's say less than zero then root dot destroy there we go root dot destroy and let's just enter return right here there so that is exit taken care of I'm now gonna copy this very function and just add it straight inside my exit button here that's the exit button so in here we then call it by entering command equals I exit so let's save and run and see how that works okay we need a column there come on yeah now let's run it again this should be indented okay then right now and let's see how the exit works there we go would you like to exit no would you like to exit yes so that is fine now the next function I'd like to take care of that will be for the reset case of reset is all about taking care of these variables so I'm going to copy them all there they are and just paste them right underneath here let's get them indented as well control indent there we go now all I need to do is dot set equals I think this is gonna be nothing so I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the rest all I just do is just copy and paste I may have to enter zero in some of them copy paste yeah speed that up Okay, that's the reset taken care of. I've also entered this for the text widget as well to clear those. So I'm going to copy this and let's use command in here. I'm going to use command so that we can activate that that very method there. So let's save and run there we go and um, whatever we select in here let's just see how it's gonna work enter something here reset that is fine good all right so come right up here let me show you guys the reset lines of code there we go as for the reset and exit now let's take care of these very buttons checkbox so when I click on this I want it to display something in here alright let's take care of that then we'll take care of the other two up there so come right down here and 
and right here we enter these lines of code for the checkbox so I will now call this and the checkbox is a but before that let the might as well just speed it up for the others so I'm going to copy this and just speed it up there we go guys those are the lines of codes that would display this text content inside each of those text widget now we now need to call this command inside the checkbox so let's come right down here where we have the checkbox there we go so right there is going to be command equals that so the other one is going to be let's copy that come in here that's for the other one and this and this but we need their names I think the name is term of agreement why this one is account and hold we we'll have to verify the command's name anyway Thing, maybe this one is meant to be restricted mails okay let's go up there and just verify those names nope this one seems correct this one is wrong copy that and bring it back down now paste that in here paste account on hold let's see yeah that's wrong and paste this one here account on hold I think I think that is that is it now let's write save and run and see how it's gonna work there we go yeah that's fine all right we're getting somewhere okay let's take care of these two then we can then take care of the calculation itself so the next one i'm going to call that product so let's come in here another function here and that function is going to be known as product function product right as for function product i'm going to say i say values equals that's sound for string so i'm going to say self dot combo I think it's called combo product type yeah dot get so whatever we have in there and that goes inside value so let me declare another local variable I'll call that product type p type equals values now let's use an if statement if p type equals equals let's assume we have a car then not a local variable let's say cost that's not a local variable that's one of the variable I declare up there costs per day dot set equals let's assume the cost of that is going to be about maybe 25 pounds per day then we we'll say product code we we'll just make up anything for the code okay we can set the product code as car whatever so that's the product code now what else do I need to check check that's credit check credit check dot set equals no 
no be the defaults. Okay. And set due date. The set equals let's go for 12 right now. No. The cost is 25. Let's say it's 25 here. Yeah. Close that. Payment method. It's a payment method. Payment method. We use the default cash for that. Right. All right. So I'm now going to use else if to take care of the orders, but then here needs to be indented. And let's use else if. There we go. So those are the rest of the codes. There. I'll now call this inside the combo box okay using function binding or function bind so let's go straight inside that very combo box then uh, if that works then we will let's say it's called product anyway so let's just paste it there so that we don't forget and this is going to be self dot copy that paste that in there self dot product code is it code or types yes type dot bind yeah and that is going to be less than less than combo box box selected and what is that meant to be that is going to be this product paste that there and close that so if I'm right then we should be able to call that very function okay so let's give it a try and see we'll check the codes first though a column missing here and let's let's run it and see indentation all right I think yeah the indentation is rectified now they are all lined up so let's see let's run it and see anyway there okay prototype let's select cars there we go see that's fine that's working yeah so all that we need to now take care of is this day in the total okay we're getting somewhere so let's take care of number of number of days so i'm going to do that right underneath here okay right here are the lines of code for the number of dates okay have a good look at it number of days those are the functions so i'm now going to call the function number of days i'm going to call that right in here in combo box number of days so we'll call that right here there we go And right here, I've used the function bind to call the number of days. Okay, so let's run that as well and see how that's going to look like. Yeah, and let's check this out for how many days. Yeah, right, you even get 10% off. So all that is left for us to, for us to do now is the total so that we find out the value in there. So that's fine. So let's come to total 
and right underneath here I'm going to enter the total so let's say that's going to be total total cost right for the total cost I will declare a variable there just call that n equals float so that's going to be float the variable pay pay due day dot get there the next variable I'm going to call that x s that will be float And what we are floating in there is going to be let's say set due day dot get. Now let's use this to add both value together and multiply by s. That will give us a cost. Cost multiplied by date. That's what that means. And another local variable st equals I'm going to enter pound sign for that comma convert to string and what are we converting to string and that is going to be into two decimal places anyway. yep and then change this So two decimal place and yeah that's correct then let's enter another percentage signed in there and it's then gonna be price multiply by zero point maybe zero point two okay zero point one two yeah and tax dot set now let's find the tax first before we set oh this will be for my tax okay so let's copy this paste it right underneath here and I will, I will change this to tax let's say it's going to be known as i tax and this just get rid of all of this yeah get rid of that and get rid of this one as well okay now so we have the tabs we now need to enter value in this there we go that's our tax inside the variable tax now we need the subtotal total dot set equals what um that will be st st sub total then the total let's say total cost not of local variable equals the pound sign and so on copy all of this paste it right here and multiply by this let's copy this then we add the other value to it copy all of those then we now want to add price plus price okay now for total total dot set equals tc total cost okay oh there's going to be an error look i have an s here no no i'm actually calling this variable so let's run it now and see anyway oh before that we need to call that on the on the button call total 
for the scroll down and right there so in there I'm going to say command equals total cost command equals total cost there so we can now call that function or that method so let's run it and see okay type of product is a van for how many days 90 days and check 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 click on total there we go guys okay working as we expect so i suppose you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial thanks for watching and please do subscribe and i'll be very much happy if you guys can join and become member of my channel thank you and you all have a nice day now bye for now